George, can you tell us a bit about Goa Sudarap? Goa Sudarap was started in 2000. Uh, Philomena Gizi and myself decided to get Goan expats to become involved with Goa. Not just simply visit here for a holiday and go back, but actually get involved with uh, their own villages, schools and other NGOs. How, how effective has it been? Well, initially it was a struggle, but now it seems to have been uh, successful, if I can use the word. Uh, and people both in Goa and in the diaspora, if I can use that word too, have uh, warmed up to the idea. So, What are the main challenges in front of you? I mean, any po possibilities or misunderstandings? Or no, actually, interestingly enough, the challenge in front of us is the same that the average or the so-called average going in Goa faces. How to fight institutions or how to take on large public, whether they are political or other institutions, and affect public policy. Isn't there a bit of a risk that, you know, uh, it may be seen as, uh, you know, kind of paternalistic or easy money or parasitism or whatever? No doubt. There is always, uh, you know, valid criticism for any group and Goa Sudarap included. We have to tread a very fine line, uh, tread a needle literally between being involved yet not driving the bus. So we want Goa and, and Goans here locally to actually drive all the issues and we offer support and partnership, and equal partnership. What's the main achievement so far? What would you call your high point? Which was your most successful, most... In well, interestingly in enough, we took off with the computers for in, schools. in schools project for Goa, where we put about 480 computers in school in Goa. <coughs> but I won't say that, that was the first and the people remember us significantly because of that. Yeah. But I think our biggest achievement is just raising awareness among expat goings around the world. Now, almost in every expat community, they recognize what can be done, who does it, and how to follow through. So a small uh, percent of the credit could go, should go to Goanet for bringing uh, it, people together initially? Cyber Goans in general have been very supportive, and okay. Goanet has played a central role. No doubt about that. And so now we look to more people not just being involved in cyberspace, but actually in physical space here. In what are the challenge, challenges for the future, immediate future? And what are the priorities? I, I would say the biggest challenges is environmental, uh, educational, at the school system, getting youth involved, not in, in Goa, and understand it from a Goan perspective, not to be influenced by the West and other superpower agendas that they are really, you know, their feet are on the ground in Goa. So uh, I think that is the big challenges. Who are the big names in Goa Sudaro? I don't know if there's big names. That, that, that's the beauty. We have an, uh, our donor list is, you know, it runs in the thousands now. Our volunteers, uh, supporters, well-wishers. So there is no one person or personality. I seem to be a public face only because I come to these functions or I post in, in on GoNet. But really, I deserve and take no credit, zero percent. All the credit belongs to everyone else. Thanks so much. All